Every shoe made on One Hour Customs 2019 edition. Episode one, Air Jordan one mid. Jesse made a beach themed, sunset inspired shoe. This was the winning shoe that episode. Super paint, blue, white. I don't know, the shoe just looks sick. One of my favorites in the series. I did like a Easter light colored, cartoony looking shoe. Didn't really do the cartoon lines very well. There's a reason I didn't win. Mitchell also did kind of an Easter looking shoe, but with brown. Episode two, we did Air Maxes. Zach also did a beach themed one. This is supposed to be like a beach ball. He's got the sun, uh, the, the sand is the kind of the brown. There's actually a lot of attention to detail put into this shoe, but it just, maybe the execution wasn't all there. I tried to do like a Hollow's Eve blazer type shoe with the painted laces and all that. I actually think this one came out pretty decent, but a lot of people didn't seem to like this one that much. Chris did a Dragon Ball Z interpretation of his own face on the front of his shoe. He's got, you know, red and orange, and that is this shoe. Vans episode, one of the better ones. Jesse made this shoe. He was inspired by someone else's custom shoe they did for a different shoe, I think. Personally, uh, the execution on this one didn't quite come to fruition. There's a lot of pencil marks and things that honestly on camera you don't see as well as you can see in person, like this ring around the front. But cool shoe. This video is not me criticizing all the shoes, just pointing out kind of what we were thinking about in the moment that might not have translated to the video. Mopey tried to do a multicolored shoe. Yeah, Mitchell did these, the butterfly effects. These are really cool. It's got like a North Carolina color. Nice, cool butterfly painted on the front, just clean. Painting. A lot of times you guys wonder why didn't certain shoes win. On this one you can see that you know the paint didn't really go through quite all the way. There's things that in person you see that are just different than when you see on camera. That episode I did these uh, Joker themed vans with the green, the purple, um, very clean lines. This shoe is honestly maybe my favorite, which is surprising because I don't even like Vans that much, but I love this shoe. Episode after that, I think, was the Adidas Superstars. Me and Amy made these 80s inspired ones. Honestly, the idea was pretty cool. Execution, not so great. Jesse and Iman made SpongeBob themed superstars and they came out amazing. Unfortunately, Iman is actually using them to wear, so I don't have them here, but here's a clip to remind you of what those look like. Next episode, Jordan 1 Mids, I did that episode with Kikes. I tried to do like a Pacific Northwest Oregon Ducks kind of colorway. This one did not come out good. I spent all the time doing multiple layers of paint and it still just didn't, you know, shine through very well. So this shoe wasn't very good. Kikes came through, he delivered some absolute heat. These shoes are fire. The paint job is pretty solid all throughout. Not a lot of white spots, but my personal favorite part of this shoe actually is the back swoosh. I just think this, this just looks super sick. Kais came in, killed it, sneaker king of YouTube. Can't be surprised he did a great job on a sneaker. The episode after that was me and Kuda. Both of those shoes are actually still at Madison Square Garden in the offices of the New York Knicks and New York Rangers. Here's a refresher on what those shoes were. The second Air Force episode, I did this with Mopey, Mitchell, and Jesse. This was Mopey's shoe, just a super clean colorway. Honestly, this probably could be in a store one day. This is a nice, cool colorway. These colors are Bone and Yeezy. Interesting names. I made this shoe. It was inspired by the Mars Yard Nike shoes. Um, ultimately, my brown was way too dark. It kind of looks like a gingerbread shoe. The painting on it's pretty clean, but the colorway is kind of, I don't know, it's not that great. From a gingerbread standpoint, not the worst, but this is definitely not a winning shoe. Mitchell, was it Mitchell? Do you remember? I Mitchell, do not remember. I feel like Mitchell wouldn't do a shoe like this. If I'm not mistaken, this is Mitchell's shoe, but for some reason I don't remember very well. This shoe is like a Lakers themed shoe. I think this is Zach's. This might be Zach's. Let me ask him real quick. Lord Zach, did you paint these? So Mitchell did. Mitchell painted these. Lakers themed shoe with some black splatter. These turned out pretty good actually. Now, for some reason I don't really remember these shoes, but looking at them, I like these shoes. Paint job, not perfect, but you know, from camera, again, you don't really see it as well as you do in person. Jesse made some Gucci Air Forces that episode. These were the winning shoe. These actually came out really good. Uh, the snake looks pretty good. It's clean. He's not doing too much with it. This is a nice, simple shoe. Um, yeah, he did a great job at these. These are one of the better ones in my opinion. Next episode was the slides episode. Jesse tried to do like abstract art. Unfortunately, his masking tape wasn't the greatest, so it kind of bled through. But honestly, kind of a cool idea. Probably would have looked better on white slides, but not a bad idea to be honest. Zach did like space themed slides. Um, he painted the swoosh, did all of this. He didn't win because it kind of looked more like polka dots than stars. A splatter would have been good here, but 
These are solid. Zach actually wears these a lot, and I wear mine a lot. Mine, that episode where these Kith LeBron closing ceremony inspired ones, just kind of my name in gold with the rose roses. Just a good looking sandal. I don't have the second one with me because it's stepped on something that smells bad, so I didn't want to bring it in the house. The blazer episode, Mopey did the super clean gold one. Uh, I don't know why, this reminds me of like the Destiny 2 first raid. Really random reference, but yeah, these are just clean, they look cool, they're nice, I like these. Jesse did these Grinch inspired ones, the artwork on the shoe is actually really pretty good on this shoe, but his paint job wasn't the strongest, not a lot of coats. Obviously you only have an hour on this series, and we actually really hold people, well we, I, hold myself and everyone on the show to that hour, which explains the paint jobs. They're never gonna be perfect, but this is one of the better ones too. All the ones with the artwork turn out really good. I'm a big fan of this one. Mitchell did these. He's got the Jack Skellington on the front. This is maybe one of the cleanest art jobs in the entire series. This came out great. His swoosh was inspired by the actual shoe I made, my Halloween uh, Jordan. Well, so shout out to Mitchell taking inspiration from my shoe that I made. It's got some nice clean orange lines and the jack on the back is actually really cool as well. This is just a nice clean shoe. This blazer episode turned out great. I did this cherry blossom blazer. This turned out pretty good, honestly. I'm pretty happy with this one. I probably would have done the flowers on the other side too if I had more time, but obviously just had enough time for one side. Yeah, this was a clean shoe. I wish I had more time. I probably would have not had any white on it actually. I would have colored all of this maybe a different color, I don't know. Maybe it's a good thing I didn't have more time because I might have messed it up. Episode after that was the Zoom Freak one, Giannis ones. Um, I did this kind of green dinosaur inspired shoe uh, with a lot of splatter. People didn't really like me putting splatter on the swoosh. Probably shouldn't have done that to be honest. I got my numbers on it. I actually put a lot of attention to detail on this shoe. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, there's like a web kind of texture, canvas web over the shoe. And on my original paint through, a lot of the time the paint was only touching the top layer. So what I wanted to do was on my second coat with the light green was only touch the top layer and have the deep darker green beneath it. Unfortunately, for whatever reason on my second paint through, it just, it didn't work the same way it did on my first paint. So that's why I went with the splatters. Yeah, I might have gone a little overboard. The dinosaur came out pretty bad on this one. But honestly, from afar, I think this shoe is actually really cool. It is like a Milwaukee Bucks colorway, so I could kind of see Giannis wearing this, actually, which I think is kind of cool. AJ LaPre, shout out to AJ. Great guy. He made these. He called these the slime drips. Uh, one thing that didn't show on camera very well was the little speckle he did inside the swoosh. And on his shoe, I think the speckle actually was a really good decision. Final episode, the Yeezy episode. I try to do my beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy inspired Yeezys. That is my favorite Kanye album. It's probably my favorite album of all time. So I got the gold lining, the gold back, and I tried to do the pixelated album cover. Really didn't have enough time. I would have done a lot more. I would have tried to paint the laces gold. I would have tried to make the threading in the middle and the back gold, but you have an hour. And I didn't finish the shoe in that hour, and that's why I got last in the easy episode. But I'm actually really happy with how these turned out. I think they're dope. Mitchell did Nickelodeon themed ones that I didn't actually like at first, but they've kind of grown on me uh, the more I look at them. I really like the green lining. I think on Yeezys, for whatever reason, the colored lining on the white just pops. It looks awesome. So Mitchell killed these. Oh, these are nice. These are nice shoes. I don't know what else to say. Tyler did these like aqua themed ones. I don't know. I don't think that's what he called it. I'm going to call them aqua themed. I think they're really cool. It's like a nice turquoise. Kind of nice paint splatter everywhere. Um, and then the stripe, I like the way it fades out. I think that's really cool. I think Tyler actually striped size and shape because of the fade out. He did the best job, in my opinion. And Jesse's super artsy paint splatter Yeezys. These are super clean. I love the way these came out. When Jesse was painting this, he actually masked off the stripe and the original version before he painted this stripe on later in the episode was just unsplatter just a very clear line of unsplatter and it actually looks really cool that way it looks cool this way too but i think you could have gone either way the only thing i would really change about jesse's shoe to be honest is i would make the lining one color probably the dark purple just because i don't know about the multicolor on the this thing but honestly this might be the best shoe in the whole series so yeah guys that was every shoe we've done now i guess i should probably rank my top five i think i've assembled my top five i actually would take out the cherry blossoms if jesse spongebob uh superstars were here those are definitely a top five but they're not here so i'm putting this in number five i'm putting my cherry blossom blazers i think these turned out great i'm happy with these i could see these at a store number two this might surprise people i gotta go with mopey's 
splatter Jordans. The paint job, is it clean? No. I mean, there's a lot of white that doesn't show, but this shoe to me is so cool because this is the first episode we did and none of us really knew what we were doing. We were just kind of painting and Tyler whipped out the white splatter on the blue part, the blue splatter on the white part. Uh, the creativity was just so awesome. And you know, I also feel like, like when we did that first episode, I don't think anyone thought he was gonna win. So to see him win, actually, I don't know. I just, this shoe's cool. It's got a lot of sentimental value. It's the first episode. Definitely one of my favorites. I think Tyler killed these. Third, I actually have another Tyler shoe. I got his Aqua Yeezys. These are just clean. I love the way the white pops at the top. Uh, I love this shoe. I think this could be a Yeezy colorway. Adidas, hook it up. These are nice. Number two, these Vans. I, I just love these, man. I don't like Vans, but I think I just did an awesome job with these. So I love these. I don't know if they're the second best shoe in the whole series, but the paint job's really clean, really good. There's no see-through part of any part of the paint. The laces pop, the ha-has pop, the purple looks great, it's nice and shiny, just really captures the essence of the Joker super well in a shoe. And number one, Jesse's shoe. I almost feel like this shoe encapsulates the whole series in a weird way. It's just, he's got all the colors, it's what painting's all about. Super creative, super clean. The bottom isn't even intentional, but it looks awesome. So Jesse killed these. I'd say these are the best shoes that we did in 2019. Do you want to give us your top five? I would love to. Let's do it. My top five, this was so tough. We we're going with Chris's Dragon Ball Z Air Forces. I don't know what character this is, but I love this. When I saw this, I was like super impressed by Chris. I didn't know he was capable. At number four, this one is yours. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when I saw James making these flowers, I knew it was game over because like these are insane. I think these flowers are just really clean and nice. Overall, just a clean shoe. Three, another one of James's. These are the Vans, the Joker Vans that um, that won the Vans, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. These are these are just super sick. Like you guys know, I love Vans and. These are honestly awesome. Like I would wear these if these were a real, real shoe. Number two, we have Jesse's paint splatter. Uh, these are beautiful. I don't know how he did the puzzle like colored kind of thing going on so good, but the splatter too, like it just turned out amazing. Uh, and he also masked it off really well. Super, super good. Like no mess ups anywhere. And my number one favorite is this one. This has a lot of meaning to me. I went into it, not really know what I was doing, but I ended up just doing the right stuff to make it turn out right and I got the win and um, I feel like I'm not gonna say I started the splatter on the custom shoes but I definitely had but you started the splatter I on the custom I shoes inspiration, <laughs> inspiration, inspiration. these are my five in a row five to one so five I wasn't here for this this is AJ's shoe and I, I just really like I like the whole color scheme the colors are super nice I like that he had the black border that always looks nice and just the the design and colors I thought were pretty cool coming in at four we got the vans these are James's vans the van episode was pretty good I'm putting James's Joker vans at four this is just it's a clean like scheme also you knew what you were doing and then you know I had, I had to put my vans in there you know these it's very simple but I just like the colors like if I had another van I would have drawn the same thing and the butterfly it. looks awesome yeah yeah. So I got those. And then now, this is where we started getting really good. Like, you, yeah. can, you can see the- The evolution, yeah. yeah. So I got James's right here, the, uh, what do you call these? Cherry Blossoms. Cherry Blossoms. This was so nice. When I saw you painting this, I'm like, that's a W. <laughs> you got a lot of different colors on the flowers, too. And obviously, we got the most fire shoe of the competition. Yes. The- Jesse's. The puzzle piece, splatter Yeezys. Dude, these are these are beautiful. They're insane. Are you gonna try to recreate it? And we might have. We're gonna have to make another one of yeah. those so there can be a pair because yeah, those are too fire to not be worn. Dude, these are insane. Yeah. So yeah, the, that is my top five. Yeezys at top. I'm guessing a lot of people's. This was at top. That was my number one. That was Tyler's number two. What did Tyler pick for number one? Tyler's number one was um oh. This one. He chose his own shoe at number one. Well, I had this in my top five also. Okay. I feel like this shoe was just, this was like what got everything started. So it's yeah. got a lot of sentimental value, you know? Tyler, we, we love that shoe. To, for me, it's just a little messy. That's why it's not in here. Dude, season two, you guys- We're gonna go crazy. Now. We're yeah. going crazy. Y'all, the audio is all super messed up on this final clip. So I'm just gonna voice over really quick. I just wanna say thank you guys for all the love and support on this series. In 2019, the 2020 version is gonna be a lot better. I guarantee that. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like below. Subscribe if you're not. Have a great day. Peace.